Hello and welcome to build a full stack React node and MongoDB authentication boilerplate. So this project has everything you want to start off your next project using MonStack. So every time you want to build a MonStack project, you have to do the same things over and over again, right? So setting up the backend, setting up the front end, protecting routes, implementing login system, uh, with email password as well as login with Google, login with Facebook, forgot password, reset password, all these features you need for each and every application but you spend so much time writing everything from scratch for all your projects. So why not build one really good authentication boilerplate and use this for all your future projects, right? So that is the aim of this course. So this course has the production ready authentication system. So this is a ultimate authentication boilerplate and it has the login system register. So login register, account activation, forgot password, reset password, login with Facebook, login with Google. And not only that, we are also going to have the private and protected routing system in the back end and front end as well, along with the authenticated users. So if the user is a standard user subscriber, he will be taken to a certain page. If the user is admin, then he will be taken to another page when he sign up. All that stuff, practical stuff that you need on each and every project. And not only that, we will also implement the profile update and deploying your application to DigitalOcean cloud servers. So if you want to build a project for the entire world, but you are stuck because you are not fully comfortable with authentication system, getting things from scratch for both back and front and all this stuff that you need on each and every real world application, then this course is your answer. Let's try signing up. So let's try Ryan. For example, if I give password less than six characters, we have the error handling as well. So we have all the validation that needed. Okay, let's sign up. Okay, so email has been sent to carver at gmail.com. Follow the instruction to activate. Okay, that is perfect. Now let's have a look. Okay, we've got the email. So let me click on this link and that takes me to this space and you can see, hey Ryan, where to activate your account? And I will say, yeah, of course. All right, sign up success, please sign in. All right, beautiful, let's sign in. Again, if you have the invalid password, Password must be at least six years long. Okay, so if you have the wrong password, email and password don't match. All right, so if you give the everything right, you can successfully log in. And because this user is subscriber, he's taken to the private page. Okay, so here you can update his information. All right, okay, profile updated. He can update the password if you put a uh, short password should be six characters so we have the validation here as well give the valid password okay that's beautiful okay let's sign out and let's say this user forgot his password okay no problem for example let's say he provide the invalid email address user with that email doesn't exist okay that's good now if we use the valid email email has been sent all right so you can check his email. So let's check the email. Okay, so we got one more password reset link. Okay, password reset link. Let's click here. Okay, let's type in a new password. If you don't type anything, invalid value. If you type short password, must be six characters. All right, so let's use the password. Okay, great. You can now log in with your new password. All right, so let me log in. Perfect right now if i decide to log in with google no problem i can log in with google and i'm taken back to my dashboard all right beautiful let's try login with facebook and you can see i'm logged in using facebook as well okay how good is that make this user admin manually so let me change this to admin by the way i'll show you how you can do it in the production as well how do you access the database in the digitalocean server and update the user role all right so now let's try now the user's role has been changed previously he was taken to private page but now he's admin so he's taken to admin page all right 
so this is the ultimate authentication boilerplate but it doesn't just cover authentication it covers much more it covers the private and protected routes for admin and authors profile update deployment to digitalization cloud servers for the real world so that your application is live and ready for the entire world